the unveiled bridal runway show in three words. Mm. Oh my gosh. I only get three? The unveiled bridal show in three words would be glamorous, luxurious, exciting, and I think that it's cutting edge for this area. Groundbreaking, different. Bold, unique, couture, exciting, and unexpected. Unveiled is charitable, which I'm really excited about. My name is Shelby Dempsey, and I am a co-owner and co-founder at the Sixpence Wedding and Event Space in Zionsville, Indiana. So the way I got involved with Unveiled was, one night I had a dream. It was kind of like reminiscent of when I had gone to New York to shoot New York Fashion Week when I was in college, which was a crazy experience. It was one of those moments when you're in a situation you never thought you'd be in, but you're so excited about it, nervous, everything. I woke up the next morning and I was just like, we don't have any elevated fashion-based experiences in the Midwest. We just, you know, the major hubs are New York, Chicago, a little bit of Miami, a little bit of LA. And I'm really passionate about intentionally curated experiences. I ended up waking up that next morning and saying, I wanna host a fashion show. And then I said, if I'm gonna host a fashion show, I'm gonna host it with Adrian Love. So. I reached out to her, told her my idea, told her I didn't really want to do it without her. And here we are. Apparently by Keen. <laughs> I'm Adrienne Love and I own the Wedding Studios. I am so excited about this event because getting to partner with Shelby is amazing. She is a fierce entrepreneur with big dreams, just this badass entrepreneur. At first it was kind of just like explaining what we wanted and getting to know each other and watching Shelby literally from the ground up build this beautiful space and then watching it become one of the most coveted wedding event venues in the Midwest. And so this couldn't have been a better combo, in my opinion. I know that a bridal fashion show is not novel, but in the Midwest, there's few fashion shows, if any, that are done really well. So getting the opportunity to bring something in like this. So I would say cutting edge, it's very intentional. Um, guests are not gonna be sitting in their seats for most of the night. They will be for the shows, but everything else, we have intentional activations. We have intentional photo spots. We have intentional like sponsor demos. So I'm excited about that. And then we are benefiting a charity. I am very excited about being partnered with Vow for Girls on this event. I think that what they do is awesome. I got to meet their CEO, Clay Dunn, at a conference in Palm Beach, Florida. Getting to meet him was really wonderful. Vow for Girls is extremely important to my heart to think about innocent kids uh, being forced into a situation like marriage and the things that follow. Um, it's gut-wrenching. So doing anything that we can to bring light to it so that people are aware that it's actually happening is a huge part of this event and, and what, our, what our goals are. My name is Brooke Stagel and I am the Director of Marketing and Advancement at The Sixpence. So I got to work with the creative team to make the Unveiled Bridal Runway Show really come to life from the general aesthetic feel to our model selection to the professionals that were involved in the day. I got to 
work with our team to select some really amazing professionals, whether they work directly with our clients at the Sixpence or whether they're just from our local community. Yeah, why don't we push it out where you can get back and we build it and see where you end up. Yeah, that's completely fine with me. Okay. That's completely fine with me. I know, I, I was thinking it might be a little bit long. It's very long. I guess it's gonna go just and, past your third track. And we've got two rows of seating and a media platform behind Back here at your VIP ride. Which I'm yeah. very you, aware probably of that. Be dropping two rows. It's gonna be a bottleneck right there oh, unless yeah, we yeah. watch it. So. Oh, especially the um, bar is gonna get ran into it everything. We can push out three feet. Le from here, yeah. how, uh, well how far, like, from this what one, two, it'll be from this. Okay, cool. Well, I was gonna say just a little bit more, just mm -hmm. so I can get. Well, we're gonna give room to clear because there's gonna be cables, everything back there. We don't want anybody to get like right next to it. So. Okay, got it. It's okay. all coming together. Last minute adjustments, all good things. Big beautiful stage. Just got a little bigger for our models. And then right we're gonna send it all the way out to here. <laughs> Plus these two. Plus All right, bye. My name is Morgan Ruffner, and I'm the director of marketing for the Wedding Studios. So Shelby actually had come into our store about a year ago and just kind of pitched the idea to us. So I was a part of that initial conversation, just chatting with her about this big idea she had um, and that she wanted to work with us to kind of make it come to life. And it was something that we just immediately wanted to jump on. We wanted to bring something to our brides that hasn't hasn't been here yet or something that we've gotten to experience that has given us this like excitement about weddings in general and for me fashion. Bring a little bit of that here, that feeling that you get in New York. Yeah, I'm just thinking like for the audience, like just like a like just having fun read and like be like short term minimalism is this and it's just like this person. I if we're just dropping I'm actually feeling fine, but I did a lot of like internal work over the past 48 hours to be like at peace, you know? Like I'm not even joking. I spent, I was like, okay, it's gonna be a lot. I like to prepare for I just, things are gonna be how they're gonna be and it's gonna be great, like in a good way. I just decided that the details are gonna take care of themselves or someone else is gonna take care of them or We've got talent in the room right now that we are leaning on. We've got some. Yes, we do. We've got birds going up. We've got Jared behind the we've camera. We've got the wedding studio over here. here. Yeah, we're excited. The production team's been great. I mean, everybody's been great. We have a really solid team of like vendors on this. I think that makes a big difference. So yeah, and I have Brooks, most important of all. My name is Andrea Green. I am the director of sales for the wedding studios, helping running backstage. I love to be, you know, in the thick of things, so it was exciting to know that I would be backstage helping the models and really queuing on each side with Lou. I feel like after today we'll have a much better idea of like where we're headed, what we're doing. <laughs> But after the fittings, we can get a better idea of how many looks everyone has, how many are walking, what's not, so we can get it out of the event space and then get more organized. I'm excited to get more organized. Today, um, she said there's um, 15, 30, about 45 dresses. My name is Hannah Ann Sless, and I'm originally from Knoxville, Tennessee, currently live in Florida, and right now we're in Indianapolis since my fiance plays for the Colts right now. I was actually looking for my wedding dress. I'm recently engaged, and I heard great things about the wedding studio, and I got to know the owner, Adrian, and it was just seemed to be like a really perfect, easy fit, and so she invited me to be a part of her event unveiled, and so that's why I'm here today. Good evening. Being a bride to be myself, to fully appreciate the excitement and beauty and distinct fashion that all bridal brings to life. I want to take a minute to recognize our two awesome hosts, the Six Mints and the Wedding Studio. 
I'm Caleb Blackerby. I'm the owner of Fitzgerald Hospitality Group. We're a multifaceted hospitality company based here in Indianapolis. I've been a partner of the Sixpence team for a while now, and so when they um, announced they were doing this event, it knew it was something I really wanted to be a part of, and we were looking for a fun event to really have some fun with food, which isn't something that we get to do a lot. Normally, you know, we have clients that pick our menus and everything else for events like today. We really get to show off a little bit and have some fun. And then I have a team as well that's really uh, centered on design and installation pieces, and so they were able to bring some some pieces to the group as well. Trying to make sure we have the right audio and video to make this show amazing. I'm gonna try to build some pretty large loops so it's not as repetitive as you would normally see, so. Ready for it to kind of like be here and be happening. Yeah, I don't think it needs like, like a letter. Now. It's kind of more like a wet look. Like, doing cheap Having, alterations. Yes, cheap alterations. Yeah. Um, for Megan here. I like to call them French alterations. Yes, French. French always do a cheap alteration. <laughs> but models look good. Place looks good. Everything's looking good. <laughs> Excited. A little nervous, but it's gonna be really, really good. Very excited. Very happy to be here. I was actually Adrian Love's first model at the wedding studio, and it's come full circle, and I'm back here walking the runway. Hey yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm, I'm very excited to see people's reactions of some of the cool, unique, fashion forward stuff that we're bringing to the runway here in the Midwest. Oh my goodness, okay, so obviously I just think like emotionally there's a lot at stake, but we are also, this event feels high stakes because there are so many little timing details that have to line up. They have to do, they have to fall in line in the timeline. They have to line up at the same time as other things. You're talking audio, visual, models. You know, we have designers that have flown in to see their designs on the runway. So there's a lot, there's a lot at stake, I would say. is I thought it would be a really good fit because I am a bride and so I'm learning the process of all of the designs and bridal wear and stuff. Yeah, 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 it's all good. to life for the first time. I think similarly to what we're used to with planning weddings and chatting with brides, you really don't see everything come together for events until it's happening. I was just really excited to see something start here. There's that old stereotype that things happen in the coasts and then five years later we get them in the Midwest, but we're really trying to sort of break some ground here and let things travel out instead. Finally wrapped up. It was a crazy night. I did not actually know what to expect because I slept two hours last night, boarded my flight, came here. It's my first time ever coming to see the Wedding Studios team. Uh, they put on a hell of an event, an event that I, I never could have imagined being anything more than what it was. It was so incredible. Um, I got to see my dresses on the runway for only like the second time since I released this collection. And to see it in this atmosphere was pretty cool because the energy in this room was absolutely insane. Uh, we'll be back. I'll be back, we'll definitely do this show again, and um, you'll see more Colby John stuff too, so peace out. 
So our second show of the night is entitled Instructural Minimalism. These gowns exhibit a modern take on the classic bridal gown from designers like Victor Rolfe, Nicole and Felicia, Hira Couture, and Signature by Justin Alexander. Please enjoy. I am most excited about solely just the show happening and bringing together all these pieces. Honestly, when I walked in today, I was like, I can't believe the thing we've been talking about. I mean, the fact that we did it, it's here. That stage is on the floor. I walked on it. It's so crazy. You know, that dream bringing something to life. Hope you're ready for some bold glamour in our third and final show of the night. From top to bottom beadwork to extravagant detailing from designers from all around the world. to add their own like personality and flair. I'm excited for the sponsors to really settle into their spaces. I'm excited for all the professionals that we've trusted to come into this process. I am excited to see them do their thing. for everyone who made this event possible. Our stunning models, teams, sponsors, and partners. Thank you so much and have a nice evening. Hannah, are we forgetting something? We have a super special announcement this evening as one of our very own is launching a new line. Please give it up for the premiere viewing of Mad Love Bridal. <laughs> surprise ending of my own fashion line that I've been working on with Haley Maddox, my partner. We dreamed it up 10 years ago, and not only did we talk about having our own line, we actually came up with the name that long ago. It kind of makes me emotional. So getting to like see that on the runway is, I'm nervous, but I'm also so thankful that I got the opportunity to do that. I have somebody like Haley that is passionate and so technical with all the things she does. It truly is a mad kind of love. Like it's just a crazy way about how we got here. But it's beautiful and it's definitely God's plan. And it's a really beautiful beginning to something that I've dreamed about since I was little. for coming. All of you are beautiful. Thank There's you all so much for coming to Unveil. Let's have some fun at this VIP after party. Like it was wonderful, but I'm glad it's like done solidly. I'm ready for the high noon after party. Cameron, oh my god! I need you guys. I need you so good. Good. I need you so good. Yeah. Our models are amazing. It was a dream. It was everything that we wanted.
huge thank you to Adrian and Haley for trusting Unveiled and this team with their launch of Mad Love. A huge thank you to obviously the entire wedding studio crew. I mean, we just could never have done this without them. We would not have. Big thank yous to Johnson Brothers, Jacqueline and Paige, uh, helped, helped us put together our high noon after party, which I'm very excited about. And then we got to also have Santa Margarita Wines join us. Very excited about that. Huge thank you to Fred. Um, he's our MC and DJ for the evening. Could not have done all this without him. Uh, the Indie Pavilion team, Jason, Dustin, whole crew. A huge thank you to all of our models. Those gowns are big, they're couture, they're heavy, and they are rocking the runway. Grateful. A big thank you to Hannah Ann. She has really come into this entire experience with like an open heart and an open mind and jumped in wherever we needed her to and stayed at dress rehearsal long and gotten excited about this with me, and I'm just really grateful for that. A big thank you to Lydia and Patty. They are doing all the florals for our stage, and it's just Gorgeous. I'm so grateful for them. A huge thank you to Colby John. I can't believe he's coming in town for this. He's doing a dedicated show, which is really exciting. And just the fact that he's gonna be there, sitting front row and cheering on Unveiled means a lot to me. A huge thank you to all of our title sponsors. So Fitzgerald Hospitality, Ova Lofts, Lockhart Cadillac, Christopher Jones, and JGA Homes. So we're really excited about those title sponsors definitely could not have done it without them. Unveiled is Brooks Daigle's event, okay? Could not have done it without her. I could literally start crying right now. And then to the entire Sixpence team, Kylie, Skylar, Kristen, there's so many people that I could say thank you to. And then of course, last but not least, I have to say a big thank you to Seth. I would not be sane today if it weren't for him. He's been such a huge help and just like a, a steady, a steady rock for me throughout this whole event. So I'm excited. We're going on vacation after this. One of the keys when I throw my phone in the ocean. It's a promise. Like a fire 